Comedy Central is riding that cartoon nostalgia train hard. Uh, but I'd be lying to say if I wasn't a little bit excited about this. What is going on, fellow board members? Welcome to the boardroom. I am Ords, and today we are taking a look at an article from ConsequenceOfSound.net, the Ren and Stimpy show returning with new episodes. So it's obvious that, you know, when I was a kid, this was a show that I watched. This is probably the one show that I was able to watch with my parents. Uh, they enjoyed this because of the adult humor in it. Um, and looking back at it, it's kind of amazing that parents even let us watch this stuff. Uh, you know, considering how really adult theme it was, if you go back and watch the old episodes, it's, it's very much in that uh, adult, you know, thing. I believe they even came out with this on MTV for a little bit, uh, or they were doing like the MTV uncut stuff that wasn't on Nickelodeon. Uh, so, kind of intrigued to see what they're going to do with the Rena and Stimpy show returning with new episodes. Now, I'm curious uh, what the article talks about. Is it a is it a continuation or is it something totally new? Uh, judging by the article here, it just says they're coming out with new episodes, meaning they're going to stick in that same vein as the original. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Let's dive into the article and find out, guys. Grab your log and start buttering that powdered toast. 25 years later, new episodes of the Ren and Stimpy show are coming to Comedy Central. I know it's an MTV thing, and I think, you know, uh, these, all these companies own each other. Um, but, uh, yeah, I believe when they did the uh, the uncut versions of it, it was on MTV. The Viacom CBS-owned network is hiring a new collective team for the reimagined take on the legendary Nickelodeon animated series, according to The Hollywood Reporter. So it's a reimagined take now now this kind of contradicts the headline I think uh, maybe I'm wrong but uh, it seems like it contradicts so it's a reimagining um, of them it's gonna kind of probably have some new elements to it my guess is uh, just being called a reimagining take on it um, so it will be slightly different uh, if not maybe a lot different from the original so Oh, the New York Post adds that Billy West, the voice of Stimpy and of Wren for three seasons, is expected to return for the revival, along with seven of the original writers. However, the show's original creator, John, not even going to try to pronounce his name, who was accused of sexual misconduct in 2018, will not be involved in the project. So I don't know anything about that. I don't remember hearing anything about that back then, uh, about the, the sexual uh, misconduct allegations. I'll have to look into that. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, so we have the original uh, voiceover or the original voice actors coming back. We have some of the original writers, so that definitely gives me hope for this. Uh, so hopefully they, they hopefully they will stick in that same vein as the original. Um, but it is good to hear that they have the original writers here. To quote, we are excited to reinvent this iconic franchise with a new creative team and our partners at the Nickelodeon Animation Studios. Viacom CBS Entertainment and youth group president Chris McCarthy said, to quote, Ren and Stimpy joins our rep rapidly expanding roster of adult animation including South Park, Beavis and Butthead, and Clone High as we continue to reimagine our treasure chest of beloved IPs for a new generation. Uh, so okay, that's kind of cool, they got all these IPs they want to bring back. Um, I, you know, I, I guess I don't understand when Hollywood lost the ability to create something new. Um, but I guess it's cool because they know that the people who have money, the people who are spending money, the people who are watching this stuff uh, on these properties, these IPs, um, are people of my age, my generation, people who grew up with this. Uh, so they're definitely playing a nostalgia card hard. Um, yeah, they're going to have some really interesting cartoons on there. I mean, South Park has been running forever. I remember watching that when I was younger. Uh, Beavis and Butthead, which I did a video on there. You guys can see that uh, up top there. Um, and, you know... Uh, Clone High, I don't remember Clone High. I don't remember that one. Uh, if you guys have seen Clone High, let me know in the comments down below and let me know if it's good enough to, uh, you know, for a viewing. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and I think part of it is too, is you know that there's these copyright laws. You have to do something within these properties or you, you can lose the ability to, I think, use these properties or whatever. I, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not a, a lawyer, a copyright lawyer. I just, from my understanding, you have to use these properties X, X many times or X amount of times in a certain amount of years, 
um, to keep copyright. Uh, the return of Ren and Stimpy marks the latest move by Comedy Central, which has been expanding its slate of adult animated offerings to live alongside South Park. The network recently announced the return of Beavis and Butthead and also acquired Jody, a spinoff of Daria, which in itself was a spinoff of Beavis and Butthead. They also hold syndication rights for BoJack Horseman, King of the Hill, and The Cleveland Show. Okay, so that's interesting, BoJack Horseman. Somebody recently told me BoJack Horseman was a good show to watch. I, I've never watched it, uh, and I know I'll probably get roasted in the comments for that, uh, but they said it was a good watch, so I will go ahead and watch BoJack Horseman. I'm excited for that. Uh, so I look forward to it, but um, yeah, that's really cool. So they have the spinoff, they've got Jody, which I'm actually kind of excited for. I loved Daria. Daria was a great show back in the day. Um, and I think a lot of people don't make that connection that Daria was a spinoff of Beavis and Butthead. Uh, so just very, very interesting stuff going on here at Comedy Central. Uh, and it is getting me a little excited. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know if they're going to bring back King of the Hill or the Cleveland show. Maybe they will. Uh, but I don't see those entities any, getting any kind of reboot anytime soon. The Ren and Stimpy show originally ran on Nickelodeon from August 11th, 1991 to December 16th, 1995. A more adult-oriented spin-off series, Ren and Stimpy Adult Party Cartoons, aired on Spike in 2003 for only a few episodes before being canceled. And more recently, a standalone film was rejected in 2016 by Paramount. Uh, that's interesting. I didn't know that there was a possible uh, film, a standalone film that was going to come out. Uh, that's interesting. I'd love to see the, the storyline for that. Um, and then, so was it Spike TV? I think it might have been Spike TV then, 2003. They had these, like, uh, you know, uncut versions of it, I think. Uh, and I could be totally wrong, because I know they did that on Beavis and Butthead. They did, they did it on MTV as well with Beavis and Butthead. Uh, but I believe they did a Ren and Stimpy, like, uncut sort of thing, uh, probably either on Spike or MTV or something like that. Well, there it is, guys. We're getting a Ren and Stimpy reboot. Um, kind of excited, a little nervous to see what they're going to do with this. Uh, but hopefully they stick true to the original source material um, and kind of keep the continuity going. Uh, I think it'd be really fun to reference some of the old things. Uh, you know, again, that nostalgia brain. Um, so Ren and Stimpy, guys, um, you know, it's just it's a, it's a fun show. It's, it's a really odd oddball show. Uh, especially going back and, and watching it as an adult, it is a very odd show. Uh, but it's just so many great memories as, as a child watching this show uh, and, and a lot of different Nickelodeon cartoons. So make sure you guys leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think uh, of this reboot of Ren and Stimpy. If you guys are excited about it, if you're not, let me know what your guys' take on it and uh, down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, so that is the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below, guys. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. And as always, guys, make sure you hit that subscription button. It always helps. So we're getting a reboot of Ren and Stimpy. Uh, let's wait and see what we're offered. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love all of you guys, and we will catch you on the other side. Peace.